welcome back to my channel so today is another protective hairstyle that I think is so cute I call it my mini tw mini twist mouse ears you want to say anyway so as you can see I'm speeding up this video I'm going to speed up a lot of parts in this video because I take a long time to part because usually when I care about my part I take my time otherwise I just part and don't care if the lines are straight but for this protective style you want to make sure that your parts are as are as straight as they can be so I'm just sectioning it off into two sides straight down the middle then I'm going to section it off a little bit past my ear as you can see and then put that away and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and also happy Mother's Day I filmed this on Mother's Day so happy Mother's Day to all the hard-working mothers out there who just do an amazing job you're wonderful and we all celebrate you so congratulations on being wonderful so the first part I'm splitting it in half diagonally because I'm going to twist my hair going inwards together on each side so you'll see I'm going to um, part my hair behind by my ear and I'm going to twist going up towards the part in the middle so I'm twisting each side towards the part in the middle that's the easy way to see that now I was going to speed this part up but I wanted you to see um, where the part was and I'm about to do the twist so there you go and if you're wondering why I keep looking up, as I've said in a lot of my previous videos, I like to watch something enjoyable like a movie or a TV show while I'm doing my hair. Um, right now I'm watching Teen Wolf. <laughs> I'm like so into that show right now. I, I started watching it a long time ago when it first came out. But then I stopped watching it because I wasn't interested and I started back in. I was like, okay, um, I see what they're doing now. Uh, I'm going to keep watching. So I'm into that show. So just a side note, this protective style requires a lot of patience. Now, it doesn't require that much patience for me because I already have a lot of patience when it comes to hair because I love doing hair so much that I can spend hours on my hair nonstop. And this protective style took me almost two hours to do. So if you don't have the patience, just so you know, this protective style is mini twists, so it's going to be a lot of twists I'm going to do. Um, just be patient with it. Or if you want somebody else to do it, just have them watch this video and have a nice relaxing um, hairdo. Add it to your hair and then have somebody else do it. But it does take time. So I twisted up the sides, so now I'm... See, what I'm doing is that I'm going from the back and then I'm going to the front. So I'll part from the back by the ear that I just showed you. Then I'm going to the front. And now I'm going to twist it. The reason why I keep changing back and forth because I just want to make sure that the, um, the twists are going the right way. So the twist that I have going down, I know I said that I was going to twist up towards the part in the middle, but the ones in the front, I'm going to braid downward. I changed my mind at the last minute that I was going to do it that way instead of going up. Because of the angle of the part, it's going diagonal towards the back, so that's I'm just following the part. But in the back, I'm going to twist up. So I'm almost finished with the first section. I'm going to go right back to the back again. So as you can see, I'm going front and back, part and front and back. And then I'm going to twist that one going up as well. Now you can do this style as a chunky twist as well if you want. But the mini twist looks better because you see the definition more and it looks tighter and it just looks so much prettier. And you know what, when you're twisting when you're twisting your hair from the side and you're going up, is there anybody out there that's ever twisted their hair and they kept their hair straight up? Like, never. I've never been able to keep my hair straight up and twist going up. Maybe because the hair falls down when you twist it, I don't know. So I did that section as you can see. That section is done. Now I'm still on the first whole section on that side. 
So now I'm doing the other side when I parted down diagonal. So I did the bottom part, now I'm doing the top part. So I'm just gonna put that away and start on the top part. For Mother's Day, what we did, my husband had to work. Um, so the kids and I, we started working on, on um, I can't even say what we started working on because my husband watched the videos and we was working on his birthday present. So he might watch, I'm gonna post this video before his birthday so I can't even say what we was making. But it's pretty cool. It's, it's something that we haven't done before, and I think, and it's it's a form of arts and crafts, and I think it came out really well. We just finished it today, and then we made headbands. My daughter and I we made homemade headbands, and my son and I we made bracelets. So we had a fun day, minus the you know referee of course, because they always like whenever they yell at each other or they fight you have to play referee make sure everybody's okay and talk it out instead of screaming it out so, so now I'm towards the back again and if you notice I like to change the direction of my twist the way I twist them sometimes I twist them going forward sometimes I twist them going backwards that also brings out the the definition of it you see it better when you change direction of the twist instead of all going the same way I mean you can go all the same way but I just think it makes the twist look so much better now you see that front twist hanging low there I did that one a little bit loose if the twist is so as you can see, I did the whole section. So that whole section is complete now. Now I'm gonna work my way to the back. But some of these twists are smaller. They're like They are mini twists, but some of them are actually mini. So what I would do, because you also have to think about taking your hair down when you're ready, when you're finished with this protective style, because you don't wanna take your hair down and then your hair is um, having too many knots and then you have to pull it out or cut it out or your hair is falling out or again too tangled because the twists are wrong so for the really small twist that I'm doing like mainly around the edges I do I do the tight twist at the scalp but then I make it loose when I'm going down so I don't make it tight because if you make it tight then it will be harder to get it unloose and make sure that it doesn't get tangled as long as it's loose then it's easier to come down so now for the back I'm twisting going up my daughter's unicorn head up there I don't know what that's doing there and also if you're not used to doing mini twists or doing protective styles as I'm showing you, I'm gonna go straight back. Um, it's a good workout for your arms. I mean, especially like your biceps and your shoulders. Oof, you get a good burn, unless you're used to it. So in the back, I split that, as you saw earlier, I split that in half, the little diagonal, and I am twisting from the part going down on the first section. Now I did the first part and the second part. I just went ahead and just fast forward past that part and I did the exact same thing to the other side. And whew, that took a while. But I was finally finished. The hard part was over. Now here comes the fun parts. So for the top of the hair, I'm, I'm just gonna braid a couple of the braids of the twists as you can see, I'm not going to braid all of the twists, just the beginning twist, just to give it a little line leading up to the mouse ears. And I'm braiding lightly. I'm not doing a tight braid, just a light braid. And making sure that I pull in the side twist into the braid because it just looks better if it's in there, rather than it's in 
the mouse ears. So I'll grab like one or two at a time, then I'll do a couple of braids, and then I'll grab another couple of braid a couple of times, and then after that, I'm going to section this off. So I'm not going to braid all the way or braid all of the twist up front. I'm going to put um, my clip there to hold the spot so it doesn't unravel. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the back. But then in this case, I'm going to braid going up, of course. Because, you know, mouse ears, they're not at the back of the head, they're at the top. So I'm braiding it going up. Again, I'm not going to braid all of the twist, just a couple of it, just to get that line braid leading up to the mouse ears. And then I'm going to section that off. And I'm going to put the hair in a hair tie. I use a hair ribbon instead of a rubber band, whether it's elastic or non-elastic, because it's just um, more forgiving on my hair and I don't have to worry about um, it pulling out my hair when I take it down. See, look at that nice line. And I'm gonna section that off too. So here we go. Now I grab the hairs, both sides, and I carefully take off the clips. And then I'm going to put it in a curly tail. Make sure you position it right too. Because if it's too high or too low and doesn't look like it can actually be ears, it will just be all wrong. And also make sure you don't do the hair ties too tight, obviously, because, you know, like I always say, never sacrifice your hair for a hairstyle. It's not worth it. So I'm not going to put the entire um, twist in the hair tie. I left some out so I can wrap it around the ears. The reason why I did that is so it can look more authentic and you don't see the hair tie. And then I'm just pinning it down. So I made like a little bit of a flat, like a, um, a spread out. So I held, if you saw that I put my finger in between when I was doing the hair, twisting the hair around. So you can have that nice little fan there, the nice little ear. And now I'm gonna get another hair pin and just make sure the sides are pinned down as well. I think I used probably like three or four hair pins for each, for each side, so you don't need that many. Then I'm going to do the other side and let my hair dry. And then, you know, I will come back to you the next day when my hair is dry and looking all nice. And there you go. Oh, so cute. All right, watch for the next clip. Hey, y'all. So my hair is ready for you to see the complete work, what I call my mini twist mouse ears hairstyle. So there's the front, as you can see. So cute. And I even put, like, these little hair accessories you can put in there. It can be, like, like feather, like the whisk of the hairs, or it could just be something cute. I just saw this and I was like, oh, this is so adorable. And there's the sides. And then here's the back. And there you have it. So that is my video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and push the notification button. That way you know, know the next time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday. Until next time, bye.